Greetings, Game Changers. This is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Rich. You may wonder why I have this image here, which I got off of Wikipedia, for Battle Cruiser 3000 AD. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. But if I were to say, let's say there were a space sim game. You're out in space, you're exploring planets, engaged in combat, you get resources, and you go on these different missions and everything else. And there's a controversy with the media, a lot of anger over the title, and it didn't seem to promise, deliver what it promised, and it's disappointing. You might think I was discussing uh, No Man's Sky. Well, that's true, but I just wanted to discuss Battlecruiser 3000 AD here, which Wow, it might have been about 20 years now, but it was a DOS game on Windows. That was a space game. It fired a battle cruiser. And there was a large controversy behind it. It just it didn't deliver. Uh, Derek Smart went on, promised this big game with the stars and everything else. And you could explore planets and everything else. You could engage in combat and, everything, and all that. And it felt short was rated on GameSpot, I believe, a 2.5 out of 10. It was buggy. It was broken. Derek Smart later on admitted that he didn't know how to code when he worked on the project and promised neural nets for the environment. And it didn't deliver. It just, when the Snowman Sky argument over it being disappointing happened, he saw battle, uh, just thought of Battle Cruiser 3000 AD. The thought of uh, Peter Molyneux, but you had this here. In some ways, on the other hand, it's the opposite of No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky had bugs and performance issues and something else, but it did. And it disappointed by just being seen to be too simple. Battlecruiser 3000 AD was overly complicated. And you had a lot of space battles and everything else. It seemed to be the opposite here. It would be good if you had something not buggy combined the two. But anyhow... It might be worthwhile if I had better video skill to actually do a video on the history of the Battle of 3000 AD controversy. But as of now, I'll just say go go look it up. You know, it's amazing what happened back then. And that's about it. Uh, I'm just making mention of this here for you to take a look at. So if anybody remembers Battle Cruiser 3000 AD, the Huffman Flame War with Derek Smart on there, and the brouhaha that went on for years. You're talking about No Man's Sky two month delay causing a lot of controversy. This went on a number of years. And it was one fiasco after another. Uh, Derek Smart not quite finishing the code. And then uh, I believe Take Two released the title early. It was another disaster. Promised the stars and ended up over delivering by overly complicating everything else. Different beast than this here. So anyhow, we'll press on. It might be somebody who hit the ultimate space sim. You have stuff like Elite and then on the cover side, you have Star Citizen, which is whenever that's coming out. There's more coming. There seems to be a demand for this here. I like what Angry Joe said here. Uh, I remember watching his review for No Man's Sky. It says, now if you were to take um, Mass Effect and you would use the engine for No Man's Sky, you might have something. So it would be interesting there. Um, I really think it's really tricky to do anything else like this here. With an engine like No Man's Sky by itself, there has to be another level on top because everything's procedurally generated. Everything in the game. And there's some mapping of what players do in it. But when you come across it, it automatically respawns. It's kind of like, um, think of Nintendo level, like Mario Brothers. You go back and something else, it'll reset. Some more idea here with No Man's Sky. But anyhow, go look up the history of Battlecruiser 3000 AD. Uh, the whole flame war behind it and everything else. I lived through it on, um, it was the PC Strategic News Group, saw that happening there. Don't know why it ended up there. It was some strategy, but it had it, and it's just... As much as the internet being much larger in the game industry was, the amount of stuff involved with No Man's Sky, which is generic middle of the road as far as delivery, is dwarfed in comparison to the flame war that this generated with the developer so anyhow um as i said i just want to make mention of it before this whole no man's sky controversy and in, in the media and everything else there was battle cruiser 3000 ad hopefully people see it we see more videos on it if you look on youtube you don't find any nobody's really did a discussion on it. it'd be worth going into 
I have to prove my video skill, but anyhow, I'll just put that out here. That's it. I got other things to do today, so that's it. I do want to thank Fuller Sound for missing mess up the intro. I don't think I did, but that's it. So anyhow, I'll sign out here. It says, um, may your die always roll five and don't hate the player. Change the game.